Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. In this video, we are going to learn chapter 2, title Equations and we are going to focus on subtopic 2.1 which is linear equations. By the end of this video, you should be able to define linear equations in 1 and 2 variables and also solve linear equations in 1 and 2 variables. A linear equation can be in the form of 1, 2 or 3 variables. From here, we can see the general form of linear equations corresponding to each variable where A, B, C and D are real numbers. The first one, we have a linear equation with one variable because we only have X as the unknown. Next, we have a linear equation with two variables because we have x and y as the unknowns. And the last one, we have a linear equation with three variables because it has x, y, and z as the unknowns. Let us try to state the number of variables in the equations below. The first equation, x minus 2y plus 3z equals to 7. We have here x, y, z as the unknowns. Therefore, this equation has three variables. Next, we can see from this equation, the only variable that we have is y. Therefore, this equation has one variable. Next, we have 2x plus y minus 5 equals to 10. We can see x and y as the unknowns in this equation. Therefore, this equation has two variables. And the last example, we can see that we have only x in this equation. Therefore, this equation has one single variable. Next, let us try to solve linear equation with one variable. The first example, we have 3x plus 5 equals to negative 4. In order for us to find x, we group all the unknowns on the left-hand side and all the numbers on the right-hand side. So for this example, we will have 3x on the left-hand side and all the numbers will go to the right-hand side. Therefore, we have 3x equals to negative 9. This will give us x as negative 3. Next example, we use the same method. So we group all the unknowns on the left hand side. All the numbers on the right hand side. So we have negative 2x equals to negative 15. This will give us x as Negative 15 divided by negative 2, therefore x is 15 over 2. For our last example, we are going to solve linear equations in two variables. When solving for two variables, we need to have two equations. In this first example, we are going to solve for x and y by using substitution method. The first step is, we are going to label the first equation as equation number 1 and the second equation as equation number 2. Next, from equation number 1, we will rearrange it to get y as the subject or we can also make x as the subject. So in this case, we have y equals to 10 minus x in which we will substitute this into equation number 2. Next, from equation 2, we have x minus y equals to 2. We will replace y by 10 minus x and simplify the equation. 
to get 2x equals to 12 and x equals to 6. Then, we will use x equals to 6 to find the value of y. Since we have y equals to 10 minus x, we replace x by 6, therefore we have y equals to 4. Hence, our final answers are x equals to 6 and y equals to 4. And now, for our last example, let us try to solve for P and Q by using elimination method. In elimination method, we will eliminate any one of the two variables that we have so that we just left with one single variable. For this example, it is easier for us to remove P by multiplying the first equation with 3 for both right hand side and also left hand side so that we have the coefficient of p as 3 for both equations now the first equation will be 3p plus 9q equals to 27 and the second equation will remain the same next we need to decide which operation to use so that we can remove p in this case, we use minus because 3p minus 3p will give us 0p, 9q minus 4q will give us 5q, and 27 minus 20 will give us 7. Therefore, we will have q as 7 over 5. Then, in order for us to find p, we can replace q in any of the original equations. Let's say we choose the first equation, p plus 3q equals to 9. We replace q by 7 over 5. Therefore, we have p equals to 24 over 5. Hence, our final answers are p equals to 24 over 5 and q is 7 of 5 So we have reached the end of our video Please have a try at these few questions And do not hesitate to contact your lecturer if you face any problem Thank you and see you in the next video